Many times have we attempted peace to no avail. Of my mouth. Sure enough. No murder. Zagreus. My name is Zagreus. Can you say that, Disiphony? No murder. Zagreus. Murder, sir. Hey, boss. Not much to report up here, but I've not exactly come this far to bring you news, have I? Wait, I never challenged you. The entrance to your chamber looks like any other pathway in Elysium. I have no quarrel with you, sir. To step into my chamber is to challenge me. It is a custom since the time I lived and breathed in darkness. I will send you into such a darkness now. And you prolonged that war with me. Yeah. Ah, a means to drown my sorrows temporarily. That's good. And rather kind of you, I have to say. It's nothing. Thank you for not trying to slay me where I stand and boast about it, like seemingly everyone else around here. Stranger, I am warning you. If you keep showing up like this, I'm going to have to find a new nickname for you. No need to go out of your way there, sir. We're just acquaintances. I don't know anything about you either. And you are better off. This place is for the greatest of the Greeks. Do I seem like the sort to fit in here? Go on and chat with Theseus, or someone of that sort. You again? Behold, Asterius! Our hated enemy has come to be dispatched before a loving crowd once more! A catastrophic power with my own. night, no? She was the queen. Queen of the underworld. My queen. Commanding reverence and awe and fear. She was not just... What was the term you used? A consolation prize. You are as disrespectful to her as you are to me. Oh, what would you even know? You claim so much respect for her, yet you didn't even respect her enough to tell her what happened after she left. But what am I saying? I know you love her still, father. That best explains all the terrible choices you've made. All the terrible choices I've made. By the time you have existed for as long as I have, pray you will have made fewer. Although I fear you shall surpass me in at least this one regard. Beautiful. You're back? Mother, you can't do this to me, Mother. You said Father is no fool, and neither are you. There has to be a way to fix this. Not just with you and Father, but with everyone. There has to be a way. You have your father's stubbornness. 
Listen to me. You're endangering everything you care about by coming here. Don't you understand? Besides... What? Besides what? Tell me, please. The truth is that I like it here, Zagreus. I have done well for myself on my own. And your father, he has his domain to look after. The feelings he once had for me, feelings we shared, they fade with time. You'll understand someday. No, I won't be understanding anything of the sort. Father still loves you, I'm sure of it. And he owes you an apology, damn it. I cannot make amends with you on his behalf. Something only you can do together. What do you mean he still loves me, Zagreus? How would you know? Because... Uh, I'm his blasted son, that's how I know. But trust me, isn't ever good enough, I know that too. I'll prove it to you, Mother. Just you wait and see. Oh, you're fading, son. You don't need to prove anything to me. Please don't do anything rash. All of us made our choices. Now we have to live with them. Isn't it enough to know that I'm safe? That I'm content to be alone? No. Uh, it's not... It's not enough for me, because this blasted family... It cannot just keep hiding from its problems. Running from them. We're stuck with one another. We... We have to do everything we can for one another. I... Oh, my dear boy. <coughs> we... have to. No. Not... yet. God damn it all. Again. There's always next time, isn't there? Achilles, I need your help. What is it, lad? What's wrong? What can I do? Let me in Father's chambers, please. That's high atop the list of things I'm not to do for anyone and under any circumstances. What is it you need? I've never even been in there myself. I don't know. I don't know. But if I know Father, and I think I do, he's got to have something of hers in there, of Mother's. She still doesn't get it, doesn't believe me about him, and I said I'd prove it, that he cares for her. All right, slow down, I understand. Look, this can get me in a lot of trouble like you've no idea. And not just me, so be careful and be quick while he's still out. Take this and go. Don't leave anything there out of place, all right? Thank you. <laughs> I hope it's not been too much having to care for Cerberus, is it, Dusa? He isn't quite as fearsome as he seems. At least, that goes for two heads out of three. Oh, Cerberus is a good boy. He's fine. One of the highlights of the job, for sure. We really hit it off after he finally realized I'm not a ball. So, I've been feeding him, grooming him, changing his water dish. Cleaning up after him? Most definitely, yes. Uh, if you'll excuse me, by the way, he's gotta go. I mean, I've gotta go. I mean, you know what I mean. Bye! Fate to be merciful. The stoic lord and master of the house possesses wealth beyond imagining, a portion of which he has used for a crisp set of attire for every passing day. I knew it. It's just capes. In his lord father's very private chambers, Zagreus, the lock-removing prince, discovers a most delicately painted likeness of none other than Persephone herself. A coat of dust suggests it has remained here for some time. He's never stopped thinking of her. Oh, what a fool. Find what you need. I did, thank you. Cerberus cannot be bothered at this time. You don't like it when I pet your other heads, huh? No. A word. How is she, child? Queen Persephone, I mean. 
Has she been well up there in her abode? What is it like? She's doing well, I think. It's nice to visit her. Her residence is beautiful, a little home nestled amid the cold. All of these plants in bloom, it's difficult even to describe. And very bright as well. That sounds quite pleasant for someone who values brightness, I suppose. Well then, I trust your visits are worthwhile for the both of you. They are. Here's what I caught lately. Fair market value. Less prattle, more battle, boy. Yo, give me all you got. on purpose just to get this back to me, didn't you? Didn't you? I have a secret, Hypnos. I've died on purpose every single time just to see you.